What's up guys, me Time Game here bringing you more Fallout 4, but this time we're going to be looking at the mod. So this is the first episode in our mod series, so let's get going, roll the intro. Alright guys, so finally for the PS4, Fallout 4 has its mods now for Fallout 4, which I just said about five times already probably. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have our mods available to us on the list now. If, if you don't see it, do the update of course. So first I'll do a small explanation on how they work, how to get them going and stuff. Uh, so if we press here, go play mods, this is, you have to log in uh, when you get in here, so you, you need a Bethesda.net account to uh, get in here. So first off, uh, I, I got a library already because I already downloaded some of them. But usually when you start off, you start with the most popular today, like as you see here. So PS4, of course, it's limited because Sony didn't want some random assets pump into the game to break or infect the system or the, I, the OS or whatever. So these, all the mods you see on the PS4 are stuff that are, are assets that are in the game itself and uh, see the, all the DLCs and nothing. So unfortunately, if you want to play as a Stormtrooper, well, you, you can't, so sorry. <laughs> but it's still cool. There's a lot of really cool mods. So it's pretty easy. Uh, first off, I'll show you how to load a mod. So basically, uh, choose a mod you want. So uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, uh, enhanced storage, cam campaign storage. So once you press OK, you, you get the description, you get the author, you get the download side, and you get the description of the mod itself. So on the left side here, well, you get a picture, or you can get, get actually multiple. So this one's not the not the best mods uh, to show you, but it's to get the general idea is it's there. So, so the first thing you can do is you can favorite it, and that's going to show up on your on your my favorite list, which is right here, which these are all my favorites that I saved already, and then after that. Uh, once you do that you can download it so i can i'm gonna download it gonna do q and then it's downloaded it doesn't take long because they're small files so they take they actually don't take time to download uh there's a lot of cool mods there is actually some some quests uh there's new locations uh like uh here let me show you one here in my library you got barge town uh barge town which is actually a city on the river which is still uh in the in the, the in the commonwealth itself but there is, let me find it here. Uh, oh, uh, Cannibal in Concord. Uh, this is another thing that gives you a, a cool new house, which has a mission, which I won't get into. So there's also this one here, which is Maubur Maubur Mauberge, which is a, a French city, which says in this uh, northern city. And it actually took assets from, uh, it's, uh, doesn't, from it, it needs, it does need Far Harbor uh, stuff. So you're going to need that DLC. Uh, so it gives you, uh, it begins with a house in Diamond City. And then after that, it, anyway, the descriptions there gives you a new map of Mauberge. And yeah, you can enable, and then you can do that. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going big scatterbrain because I'm, I'm fritting as I'm going here. But yeah, so you get all these mods and then you get your library up there of all you downloaded. So once you download it, they become in your list. So before you get into it, you, you as you see in the bottom there, it says load order. So once you get into, you want to figure out your load order, you press triangle, and then it, it gives you all the mods you've downloaded so far. And the one that are active have a check mark beside it. And by pressing X, you can disable them instead of going to each and each separate mod and adjusting it itself, which would take forever if you're trying to find it on the list. Because there is a decent amount of mods on this game, so uh, uh, available to you. So yeah, so I turned them all off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, go um try out a couple mods to show you guys just uh real quick uh one thing also one thing also that you need to keep in mind is if you activate mods it disables the trophies so i do i do recommend that you do two saves so like a double save of your your main save or start new one or do whatever you want but uh yeah so we'll start with that and um we'll go from there so I'll, i will activate a couple mods for you guys and we'll jump into game into the game and we'll we'll go check that out. Now keep in mind when you're activating mods, it have to it has to do a system like uh, data reload just so it say it remembers everything. I guess to activate trophies and all those stuff. 
So yeah, do keep in mind, remember, do a double save. That's important if you don't want to fuck up your main save. It's very important. So the first one I'm going to load up uh, is going to be called PS4 Simple Green. So I'll be going to Sanctuary and we'll see from there what it gives. All right, so all right, so basically what this mod does, it adds greenery. So basically what it's going to do is it using assets from the game itself. It will be adding uh, trees and stuff like you can see here. The tree as actually looks nice and it adds grass too, which was pretty grayish before. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's a simple mod. This is like the simplest mod I could find. Just to show you a small example of what's in the game there. Yeah, it's pretty... You can see the nice shiny trees over there, which weren't there before. Looks like we're living in a normal, non-post-apocalyptic world. So these assets, I'm assuming they're taken from before the bomb drops at the beginning of the game. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, so I, re I reloaded uh, my game without the mod on. Now, I will give you a warning if you load a save that had mods on it, that one of your mods is, uh, is unactive, inactive or disabled, and it's going to ask you if you want to keep going. You can, but and it even shows you which one's deactivated, so you can reactivate it if you need to. So as you can see now, the tree, while well, it's not so leafy, the grass is not as green as it used to be, and you see it worked. It looked pretty nice before, so we did that. That it was pretty cool. There's still some greenish before. I didn't even remember. That's why I, I wanted to double look to make sure because I didn't remember it being half green. But yeah, it looks great compared to what it was totally green before and the trees had full of leaves and stuff. So we, we will be moving on to the next mod. So just follow me. All right, guys. So the next mod I'm going to be showing you is a minigun that shoots missiles. Yeah, you heard right. Miniguns that shoot missiles. Uh, it's a fun little it's a fun little mod i didn't try it out so if you want to get it uh this is, doesn't load in a random box in your uh, in your settlement so we're at vault 111 so you turn around you go towards sanctuary and it's right there basically a missile minigun and that's what's what that's what the mod is named missiles minigun so just keep that in mind if you try to find it on the mod list there so we will load it up and see what kind of damage we can do with that mutter we got the minigun. Uh, there's no ammo crate around it, so you probably want to load up on missiles. There's probably there's probably a mod I can show you guys in another video um, for uh, like a full of uh, ammo box and stuff. But I got 23. We should get the picture of what it does. And all right, let's try it out right here. You guys ready? Because I'm definitely ready to try this. All right, let's go. Oh, that was that was cool. I only had 23, but that was still pretty cool though. Shooting missiles like that, taking down death claws should take like two or three shots. So that was cool. I wish it was a bigger explosion, but yeah, that was still pretty cool though. All right, let's go check out our next mod. All right, guys. So the next mod I'm going to be showing you is the. It's called the portable Nuka jetpack for PS4. So this is located uh, on the. Uh, this is a uh, super duper mark. So if you're wondering where it is, it's right, oops, it is right here. So uh, your the sanctuary is right here, and right beside Lexington, there's a super duper mark. That's where it is. So do be careful, because there is a super mutant behemoth right behind you. So if you, if you didn't kill him yet, uh, do be careful. All right, guys, so once you entered the super duper mark, uh, you will go to the left side of the super duper mark. Uh, it's on a shelf, so just keep up with me here. Just the only thing keep in mind is the feral ghoul do seem to respawn every time here. So if you came here before and they're still there, well, at least now you know. So once you come down this hallway, go all the way to the end, and it is right here. You have my Nuka jetpack and you have my Nuka jetpack helmet. Uh, let's Bingo. take him here. Yes. All right, so I'm assuming I need to be out of the power armor to do this. So I'll go to the safer location and we'll try that out. Oh, of course. All right, we will go to a safer location and try that out. All right, guys, so I went back to Sanctuary Hill because that seems like the safest place I can be. So now you go into the imperil section of your inventory and you equip my Nuka jetpack and my Nuka jetpack helmet. I don't think the helmet is actually required. And then after that, uh, if you're a guy, well, they actually dress you in the female version of a suit. 
Uh, and now we're going to try it out. So it looks pretty cool. Looks like a spaceship. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, look, I got the high heels and everything. So what it does, I pre it takes the animation from the uh, from uh, the, uh, the the power armor and stuff, and you don't get any fall damage. So once you use it, you have to double press triangle, and I'm pretty sure it looks oh, it uses your AP. So keep that in mind while you're using it. So the character the character somewhat looks funny while it's while he's using it, but it's still pretty cool though. You have a jetpack, you don't have to get the power armor to use it every time. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for all the mods for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I really couldn't wait for the PS4 to have the Fallout 4 mods uh, because it's something like... it's. Uh, it's su I'm surprised that it hasn't happened in any other game before, so that's really cool. I just wish like that all the mods were available, but Sony, I guess, didn't want to fucking get the legal assets that would ruin the console or whatever. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will be doing more episodes. They will probably be... I will try to do them... At least once a week. I don't know for how long. Because I don't know how many mods I want to try. Uh, oh, Also, when you press uh, option, there is a mod here. And it's going to show you the mods you've downloaded. And the mods you have activated on. So, these are all the mods I want to try so far. There's probably going to be more. And the ones you have selected are there. And the ones you have you downloaded are there too. So, I got all these mods for now that I want to show you. Uh, except for the enhance. That was just uh, an example there. But all the mo these mods, I still want to show you guys. Some of these mods, like pro the uh, probably the Cannibal and Conqueror, are probably going to be one episodes on its own. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video, new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.